So today I'm going to be going through and smelling 24 of the different little trees, you know, the car air fresheners that you see hanging on people's mirrors quite often. Now I've never bought little trees before, never really used them, never had an interest to, but I saw a video on YouTube actually done by the channel Donut Media is his channel name, and he went through and actually smelled all 42 of the little trees. Now, again, I have about 24 of them here, so not all of them. Uh, and I think this will kind of give you a good idea, and maybe I will revisit some of the other ones that I missed here in this video in a previous one if you guys want to see that. Uh, this would be kind of cool to change it up and have a different angle on it. I don't think he is really into fragrances, so I thought this would be a cool approach. Someone who is into fragrances and kind of a fragrance enthusiast, I guess I would be considered uh, smelling these, and I'll just let you know my favorites. If there's any that smell bad, I'll let you know, and if there's any that smell really good, I'll let you know as well. So. Um, Let's get into it. So let's start off with wild cherry. I'm gonna make it nice and easy. As soon as I opened up the bag on this, I could smell it immediately. Very strong, right off the bat. Um, definitely very strong. Smells like cherry for sure. And it almost reminds me of like um, medicine, like cold medicine I used to take as a kid. It's very strong and potent and uh, yeah, I don't know, kind of syrupy as well. Syrupy, sweet, um, cherry note. I don't think I would want this hanging in my car. I just don't think I would, but it is definitely a very authentic smelling cherry. Kind of cough medicine, cough syrupy smell, but not bad. So up next we have Rainforest Mist. Some of the names on these do sound pretty enticing. This one does sound cool. Very clean and very, very fresh. Almost smells like fresh laundered clothes. Almost smells like a fabric softener or a laundry detergent. So this would be more my style if I wanted to use one of these in my vehicle. I don't really want something that's gonna be sweet, that's gonna heat up in summertime, and it's also may not do a good job of masking other odors. If you have something sweet and you're trying to mask some hot odors, you probably wouldn't want something like that, but a nice, clean, fresh linen smell will be more my style. I like this one the best out of the two I've smelled so far. We still have a lot of work to do here, but this one, not bad. Now I'm actually excited about this next one. I've been waiting to try this one eagerly. This one is Fresh Shave. Ooh, very, very nice. Now this has a nice barbershop, uh, shaving cream, cinnamon spiciness. Definitely an aromatic fougere. <laughs> Top quality aromatic fougere right here. This might be better than Roja Parfum Scandal. Uh, really though, it does smell good. I get a lot of cinnamon. I get a creamy shaving cream type of smell. I get a gentleman's masculine refined smell out of this one. Now, a lot of you would smell this and probably imagine the smell of this being in like your grandfather's car. It is going to have an older school smell to it, a barbershoppy type of smell. But personally, I really like it. I think this is my favorite one so far in terms of scent. Would I want my vehicle smelling like this? I would probably just go for a more basic one, but it does smell good. And hey, maybe I would hang it in there for a few days. Nice one here. Up next, we've got Sunset Beach. And I'll get this out for you here so you can see it. Here it is. Uh, looks pretty nice. Now, this one's got a feminine smell for sure. Feminine, fruity, clean, musky, floral. Uh, very sweet as well, like a fruity sweetness. Uh, this one would be found in a woman's car for sure. I don't think really any dude's going to want this hanging in their vehicle and having their vehicle smell like this. Nice one, maybe if you're on a vacation in Florida or you know somewhere uh, with nice weather and you know a view of the ocean, uh, but not really for me. I'm excited about this next one here. We have Royal Pine. So we'll see what this guy's all about. Uh, hmm, I don't like that as much as I was hoping. Um, spicy, very spicy woodiness. Very strong though. It's not the type of pine that I would like. Just kind of has a generic woodiness. Not my favorite, but not too bad either. Up next we have one that I'm sure I'm going to love. This one is Daisy Fields. Yep. Very, very floral, sweet, sparkling, kind of pretty smelling. Another one that'd be great for a woman. It kind of has this uh, fresh linens type of smell also. Like clean, fresh, laundered clothes, but with a more girly fabric softener, that sort of thing. Not bad, nice and refreshing for summertime for a female who wants her car to smell like flowers and smell very pretty. This next one we have Caribbean Colada. Uh, not really much going on here on the tree itself. I guess I could show you the wrappers of some of these. The wrappers do have a picture on front, but 
I don't think you guys are too worried about presentation, are you? Uh, immediately picking up on a lot of the coconut. Coconut and a, like a sweet rum boozy accord also. Kind of smells almost like a pina colada. Kind of also smells like a suntan lotion, sunscreen, like a self-tanning oil that uh, you would use. It's kind of what this one has going on, but definitely uh, um, an alcohol smell. Actually, kind of smells like Malibu rum a little bit. When you really kind of uh, hone in on the alcohol sweetness, it smells like Malibu. And then, of course, you just get a bit of a other sweetness out of it. Well, all of these are very strong, which is um, pretty nice, pretty impressive. Another one that would be a bit much for me, but good for someone who wants something kind of tropical and summertime smelling. If it's wintertime and you're sick of the winter blues and getting into your car when it's 20 degrees out, hang this up and it might make you feel a little bit more like summertime. Kind of following that same trend, we have Bayside Breeze. Let's go ahead and pull this one out of here. Um, I left this one in the package just so you could get an idea of the full presentation of what to expect when you buy these. Uh, let's see what we have going on. Similar thing. Um, this one has uh, the same type of clean linens smell with a bit more of a, mm, I don't know, like a kind of fruity pop here as well. Very tropical, very fun, very clean, very fresh smelling. But this one's nothing that's too out of the ordinary here. And this is kind of more my style, just in the clean, fresh type of smell for an air freshener. This one up next sounds kind of cool. Rain Shine. Not really sure what they're going for here, but... Now, this is, this is good. This is interesting. It's got a kind of... I don't want to say dirty because that's really not what you would want. You don't want this to make your car smell dirty. I guess maybe a, a slight earthiness. A slight earthiness, kind of a gray smell, uh, kind of a gloomy day type of smell, rain shine. I'm assuming they're kind of going after a rainy day, perhaps. Uh, this one I actually really like, especially coming from the more artistic side of things, me being into fragrances. You know, this is a different type of scent. It's not just a clean, fresh linens type of smell. You get something out of this one that's a little bit different. Touch of sweetness, a lot of freshness, kind of an ozonic feel, bit of an earthiness. This one, I can get behind. I like this, this isn't bad. Okay, this next one we have Jasmine. I love the color. Uh, and also, if you look on the package, they've got a trademark, Jasmine, trademark. Gotta have that there, although it's not on the tree. Um, smells like Jasmine, very floral, very fresh, Jasmine. So this next one ought to be interesting. This is called True North. Uh, this has uh, like a wintertime, holidays, Christmas type of smell. And that, you know, kind of has the, the white going on, like maybe snow on a tree. True North, kind of thinking of the North Pole, kind of thinking of wintertime, holidays, Santa Claus, all that sort of thing. Uh, there's a... Um, Kind of a similar smell to this a little bit than to the pine tree one as well, or whatever that one was called, some sort of pine variant. Kind of get a little bit of that, but I do actually like this one better than the pine. It's a little bit more toned down, a little bit more smooth. Not bad. <laughs> now, next up, I believe we have what is the most popular uh, little tree, although I could be wrong, but I think it is. I think this is the one that you see all the time. Could be wrong. Is it black ice? Is this the one that's the most popular? I can't remember. But it does smell good. It This kind of has um, a bit of a cologne smell. So a lot of these, I mean, they could be a perfume, they could be a cologne, but it would be, uh, you know, just a very clean, fresh, kind of unisexual or feminine-leaning perfume. This one actually has kind of a masculine cologne, men's fragrance type of smell. Uh, you get this mm, kind of clean, also kind of um, earthy, masculine musk. You get some woods. Uh, you get a bit of a freshness up top and a lot of like a spicy pepper um, type of smell as well. I don't really know exactly what they would be using here. But it is by far the most masculine smelling one and one that I actually probably wouldn't mind having in my vehicle. I like how this smells. Not bad. Up next we have another very exciting one. Uh, this is just coconut. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of coconut. Ugh. Yeah, coconut. For sure coconut. This is very strong. 
it's almost got like a, a I don't know, like a, a hot, rancid smell to it, like a rotting coconut. No thanks. Okay, let me try to get that smell out of my nose here. Let's go to watermelon. At least I'm assuming that's what this one is. Um, watermelon. It's got to be. I couldn't think of what else this could be. It doesn't look like a watermelon, but I'm sure it has to be watermelon. It smells like watermelon. It smells like that bubblegum watermelon stuff. I can't remember what it's called, but I think it's got that filling in it. Just that bubblegum I used to have when I was a kid. It smells great. Not something I want in my car, but a nice, authentic watermelon smell. This might make you want to chew some gum or have some fruit snacks or something. It smells great. Up next, we have a Vanilla Roma with a registered trademark. So let's see what we have here. Just a yellow tree. Looks like this tree got pissed on. Yeah, you know what this smells like? This smells exactly like banana Laffy Taffy. Banana Laffy Taffy isn't really my favorite, so hmm, pass. I'm excited about this one next, actually. I saw this one, I thought it was pretty interesting. It is um, no smoking, and the name uh, in terms of the scent is, if I can see it, crisp and cool. Uh, smells like black ice. Pretty sure that smells exactly like black ice, just with a no smoking sign on it. Cool. Okay, up next we have Celebrate. Birthday cake smell, as you can see right here. Okay, yeah. Do you know, this smells like um, those birthday cake dessert candles that you get at Walmart, or I'm sure Yankee has them as well. Just a very sweet, authentic, sugary birthday cake smell. Not something I'd want my car to smell like, but nice novelty. Cherry blossom honey. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. I don't get much cherry. I don't even get that much honey. I just threw it in my trash bag. I'm going to get it back. I don't get much cherry. I don't get much honey. It smells not very good at all. I just don't like it. Sounds like this one here could be good. This is Moroccan mint tea. I like it. Uh... It's actually a pretty good balance of mint and tea. I get more tea than mint, but the mint kick is there just enough. Where it does smell nice. Uh, one of the better ones today, I think. Not one of my favorites, but one of the better ones. Not bad, and I can tolerate this one. Now this one here, I've been saving towards the end because I've really been excited to try this one and I'm curious. I'm gonna judge this one hard because it's something that I'm really into with fragrances and more specific fragrance notes. This is bourbon. So I love the look of it, I love the name. Well, I love the smell. Now, this reminds me of something. A bit of a sweet bourbon note, but also just a ton of woods, almost like oak barrels. I actually really like it, although it's not what I was expecting. It does smell nice though, and this would look cool hanging in your car, you have to admit. That would look really cool, and it smells pretty nice too. And running down to the end, we have heat. Let's get this one opened up and see what we have. It smells like Red Hots. It smells like Big Red, well, more so Red Hots. Uh, doesn't really smell like Big Red. Yeah, just the Red Hots, you know, those hard candies. Spicy, strong, cinnamon. This would probably be a nuclear bomb in the summertime. Last up for today, we have probably the most interesting, the best one yet, summer linen. I know, I know, I saved the best for last. Clean, fresh, probably smells the most like laundry out of all of them. Well guys, there you have it. That was me smelling about what, 20, a little over 20 of the little trees. Again, I believe there's 42 of them. I didn't do as good as Donut Media, but I tried my best. Some were out of stock, some were hard to find. I could have gone through and bought them on the official website, but I didn't really want to. I just didn't. <laughs> I didn't even know for sure if I was gonna do this video, especially after I got these in. I'm like, okay, there's actually a lot here. And I kind of put it off. I've had these for probably two or three months or something. So, or whenever his video came out and it was recommended to me, whenever that was, two months ago maybe. So, uh, there you have it. This is something different. I'm sure it's going to annoy some people because it's not fragrance. 
It is not cologne that you spray. But hey, I thought it was kind of cool, something to change it up a little bit. That's gonna do it for me. Let me know your favorite little tree down below, and I'll see you next time with another one. Take care.